Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of the September BoxyCharm as well as a full review of the August BoxyCharm so we can really see if it's actually worth the 21 US dollars per month. I do pay about $33 Canadian per month. That's with the currency exchange rate and the shipping to get it to me here in Canada. With BoxyCharm, you get between four and six full-sized products each month and the box retails for over a hundred dollars if you add up the values of each of the products but if they send you crap then it's not really worth the hundred dollars or maybe it's not even worth the 21 that you paid and that's what I like to do over here every month but let's start with unboxing the September box I haven't even cracked into it who am I I always peak I can never keep it a secret and I always watch a ton of videos lately BoxyCharm has been getting more variety in their boxes not quite to the point of Ipsy if you have ever received Ipsy or watch Ipsy unbaggings everyone doesn't get the exact same thing BoxyCharm used to be everyone got the same thing maybe a variation in shade but lately there's been more variety to the boxes so you don't really know what you're gonna get the September theme is Wildflower, which I kind of think that's maybe like a more spring or summer theme, but whatever. Uh, this month it looks like we have five items. Last month we had six. This is what the box looks like here. I'm going to start right here at the top. This is a Laura Geller Baked Blush. I have mine in the shade Tropic Hues. I have had this blush in the past. It was a small sample size, but I believe I've passed it on. I don't think I have it in my collection anymore. It is a beautiful, bright type of blush. I really do like these blushes. This retails for 28 US dollars. I will give it a little swatch. There's definitely some like luminosity to it. This is a pretty like bright corally type of shade and you can kind of see the reflection there. Really beautiful, super happy with this product. Next up, I have this brush trio from Alamar Cosmetics. We received the Alamar um, Reina del Caribe palette. I don't speak Spanish at all. And I really did like it. And I was considering going on the website and purchasing these brushes. So I'm super happy to have received them in my BoxyCharm. These retail for $18. Alamar Cosmetics is a company created by Gabby TMUA who is a makeup artist here on YouTube, Instagram. She does um, Kathleen Lights' makeup at all of her shoots. These feel incredible. This is a really large um, blending brush. It kind of has a paddled shape, so it's um, wider this way than it is this way. We have a small detailed shader brush as well as a flat liner brush. I'm really excited about these. I think they're gorgeous. I love the combination of the green and the rose gold. And of course, next month, I will be prepared to give you a full review on these brushes. Let's go in for the big daddy. This is an eyeshadow palette from Pretty Vulgar. This brand is sold at Sephora. I have something smeared on the front of mine. You can't really tell, but like right here. Um, I'll have to try and wipe that off. It's probably just glue or something, but still. This retails for 35 US dollars at Sephora. And this is a cool toned eyeshadow palette. I saw a few people be kind of bummed about that, but I actually like that. We get a lot of warm neutral palettes in BoxyCharm, so this is something different. We've only, I have only received maybe one or two other cool tone palette from Box palettes from BoxyCharm, and I've been subscribed to them for a very long time, so I'm excited to play with these. I don't have a lot of experience with cool tones. Um, my palette is kind of cut weird, like, the cardboard wasn't cut properly here. Um, this eyeshadow is pressed a little funny in here, but that 
I can tell by the way this is, is like a pretty vulgar problem, not a boxy charm problem. Maybe I'll just swatch too. I'll, what do I got? I'll swatch flip out, which is this warmer brown. I mean, it's not warm, but a little bit warm and clutch right beside it. So those two shades there. Ooh, clutch is a little chunky. You can see it there on this finger. So. Ooh, but they swatch so nicely. Look at that shimmer. Okay, I'm excited. It is still a little chunky on my finger, but like I can get three full swatches out of dipping my finger in one time. I think that's pretty impressive. Next, we have something from Butter London. This is the Stroke of Wow Roll On Precision liner. I really did not want to get this at all. I am not very good with liner um, as it is. So I could only imagine how much of a mess this is going to be. It has a little like pizza cutter roller on it. This retails for 19 US dollars. I always have the conversions down below. Okay, but it does make a very precise line that is decently black. It is not the most black liner I whoops, have ever seen, but I mean, that's pretty good. I will, of course, give it a try and come back with a review. Ugh, but I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this. Lastly, I have a liquid lipstick from the brand Hank and Henry. I have never had any experience with this brand before. I do know there was an issue with um, Angela Nyquist um, in one of her makeup releases going on the Wishlist or Nah videos. Um, she said she didn't want to pick up one of their other products and it turned into this big old thing. It is a liquid lipstick, but it looks like a bullet in the packaging. The packaging is really pretty. I have the shade Petal Pusher, and this retails for $17. It appears to be like a rosy shade. The doe foot is kind of weird. It's triangular and like really poofy. I don't know. Wow, this is a beautiful, beautiful color. So I'm really excited to try this liquid lipstick out as well. So far, I like everything that we received this month. The only, I can't find where I put it. The only thing that I'm kind of like, mm, I don't really think I'm going to like this is this Butter London roll on liner type of thing. But I love trying new lip products. I'm excited to add another cool toned eyeshadow palette to my collection. I do have neutral undertones, so I can pull off I mean, <laughs> warm and cool toned eyeshadows you know what I'm trying to say I wanted these brushes anyways so bonus got them in the boxy charm and then I already know I really like this blush formula this color is a little bright um but I think I can make it work and Laura Geller is a great brand let me know if you got any variation of these products down in the comments below and now we're going to go ahead and jump into reviews of all of the products that I received in August. The theme for the August box was Life of the Party. This is one of the most disappointing boxes I've received all year. I think maybe there was one other box that I was pretty disappointed with. So do keep that in mind. This was the eighth month of the year and the second box that I was really bummed about. Um, that's a pretty good track record in my opinion, but I do want to let you know that not all boxes are super duper amazing. I'm just going to reach over here kind of at random where I have my products. The first is this Bang Boot booty bang beauty gel eyeliner in the shade chocolate does this work as a gel liner sure except for the shade is a super light brown 
So even on no makeup days, you can hardly see it when you use it as a gel liner, although it works for that purpose. I have tried this in my brows. I find it too gooey and sticky for that purpose. And today I tried to put it all over my lid. It's kind of like a cream eyeshadow and it doesn't really work for that purpose either. So for me, this is a dud. I probably would have liked this formula had it been in a black and this retails for 22 US dollars. I get, I'm trying not to be in a super bad mood. Next, I got a mascara, a Tarte mascara. That sounds like it'd be a fabulous product to get. This is the Lifted Mascara. It is sweat proof, but I got mine in the shade Black Brown. I wasn't sure if I was going to open this, but some people said that they actually like black brown mascara on an everyday basis. So again, I have it on today and it isn't super dark like a black mascara, but it's actually not too bad. And it does make my lashes look decent, um, not too amazing. I will probably finish this off, but this is a really chunky formula, like clumpy in a way that's not like, oh, my lashes are clumping together. But like when I take the wand out, I'm not sure if like how much detail you'll be able to see, but on the end of each bristle, it's kind of like caked up really weird and then it deposits those little chunks for a lack of a better term onto your lashes and it takes forever to comb them out so i definitely will not be purchasing this when it runs out and this mascara retails for 23 us dollars so not terrible but definitely not a great product Next up, I have these Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. We actually received three of these and I did really like them. I'm not a huge eye mask type of person. I just don't really feel like they make that big of a difference. It did make my under eyes feel really hydrated, really smooth, but that like an eye cream does the same thing for me. You know what I'm saying? So. I wouldn't go out and purchase these. I will use these two up, of course, but not something I'm really that excited about. And the the three of them retailed for 13 US dollars. Um, these were really cool. They are actually gold um, sitting under your eye. It is kind of a relaxing thing. Toss these on when you're sitting in the bath or reading a good book. They didn't blow my socks off. So another like eh, uh, product. Next up, this is something that I really did like. This is the NCLA Lollipop um, Cuticle Oil. This is super hydrating. It smells amazing. Your hands smell like candy. It's really, really nice. I like this a lot. However, this does retail for 18 US dollars. I would never pay $18 for this just simply because cuticle oil isn't like at the top of my priority list of on like where to save and where to splurge. Is this worth $18? Yeah, maybe. I actually don't have that much experience with like budget cuticle oils and luxury cuticle oils. Like it's so it's hard for me to judge that, but I will continue to use this up and I do really like it. However, would I pay $21 for a box of mystery products knowing this was in there like if this was the only thing I knew no so take that as you will I do really like this product this I did not test at all this is the Smashbox Be Legendary Pucker Up Lipstick Palette this is the neutral one I will be throwing this into a giveaway the packaging is super amazing I will have a holiday giveaway this year and I think someone else will get a lot more use out of this than I will. I just know I will not continue to use this lip palette beyond testing it, maybe once in a while, but not to make it worth me keeping personally. This does retail for $24. Everyone got a full-sized Smashbox lip product. It could have been a bullet lipstick, a liquid lipstick, a lip gloss, any color, a lip palette like I got. So 
I thought that was a really smart choice. Just, I wish I didn't personally get this. I will open it, but obviously I did not touch any of the products if I can open it. It does have a mirror. It does have a lip brush, which I'm just going to hold into place. And it does have really beautiful shades. It has some creamy finishes, some matte finishes. I love the shades within this. It's just the format of this product. I personally think it would go to waste in my collection and I would just rather add it to my giveaway bin and give to one of you guys. So this um, could be a really great product, but I am going to be giving this away. Lastly, we have this palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the Party Animal Palette. This retails for $19. I was pumped to get this in BoxyCharm. If you watched that unboxing, I was so excited. I'm just getting into color. These are the shades, super vibrant, super beautiful. I know a lot of people were really upset to receive a colorful palette, but the other 11 months of the year, you got neutral palettes from BoxyCharm. So I think that this kind of forced people to go out of their comfort zone a little bit. It'd be super easy to use some blues on your lower lash line. Pop a vibrant orange into your crease. Switch things up. You can still make the rest of your look neutral and just use one of these shades at a time. Hypothetically. <laughs> After receiving this, there were a lot of there was a lot of drama that surrounded Laura Lee, and I was just kind of thawing on. Her. I had resubscribed. I was watching a few videos. Um, I've since unsubscribed again. I will no longer support her particularly. I will keep this in my collection for a little while longer. This, let me get into the review of the product itself. Not the owner of the brand. I don't agree with that. I will not purchase from her. Um, going forward. I never purchased from her to begin with, but this was in my BoxyCharm. So this is now in my collection where it's going to stay for a little while. The product itself. The shades are beautiful. I love the selection. Although at first I was kind of like, mm, I don't really think these go together. This is like a super light lime green. It looks kind of yellow um, in my camera, but it is like a pale lime green or like a chartreuse color, if you will. This is a vibrant sky blue, a dark cobalt blue, a matte vibrant orange, a shimmer pink, and a shimmery purple. These are so dry. They don't blend. They're patchy. I've created three, created three eye looks using this palette, variety of shades in a variety of different ways, as many as three looks with six shades. You know what I mean. I hated every single one of them. I do, however, think that popping a blue on the lower lash line could work. When I played with this purple, one eye was darker than the other. Like, it's not even consistent in any way. I would not recommend this palette. I do not like this palette. I'm going to keep it for reference and for when I need that one shade. I do not have a glittery pink like of this type of pink in my collection. I do not have a shade like this in my collection. That is the only purpose I'm keeping it for. I will give you a few swatches. Let's do the blue and the purple, like even touching them, they are so dry. I'm not sure if you can see how powdery they are. Let's do one more. Let's do the chartreuse color. Not opaque at all. You can completely see my finger through the chartreuse shade. You can hardly see the chartreuse shade at all on my hand. The blue is definitely not nearly as vibrant as in the pan. I'm not really sure what the best way to show you is. And the purple is patchy and inconsistent. Um, I tried to do a blue and purple look with um, the two blues and the purple. I looked like I had two black eyes. Nothing blended. It was patchy. And like I said, the purple was dark in one spot. As you can see how dark it is here. 
and how light it is here. And that was with me trying to blend with my finger. Still dark here, still lighter up here. It's just super inconsistent and I would not recommend that to anyone. This whole box was curated by Laura Lee herself and I was really, really disappointed with this box. Um, I would not have paid $21 for it knowing um, which products were in it with their reviews. Like I wasn't super bummed about it when I first unboxed it. Like I said, I was excited for this. So I probably would have paid the $21 knowing what was in it. However, I would not recommend anyone else to pay $21 for this box after I reviewed it. It's really hard to kind of look at the products that way, but now that I've played with them, tested them thoroughly, don't like them. So overall, didn't like the palette, didn't like the gel eyeliner. Those are like strong dislikes, really like products. Products that were okay and that I will continue to use, the eye masks and the mascara, and the products that I like that I got this to throw it in a giveaway for you guys. That's awesome. And I like the cuticle oil. That's that. Let me know what you thought of your August box down in the comments below. Have you tested out the products? Please do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.